Today, let's talk about seven secrets that will help you extend your shelf life, reduce rancidity, and make sure that you have quality food in your storage. Hey, Provident Preppers, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Kyleen. And today we are going to do a really quick video that will really help you out when it comes to packaging your food storage correctly so that it will last over the long term because rancidity is a huge problem. In fact, we have another video that we um, interviewed food scientist Joseph Bell where he goes into all the chemistry surrounding these points. So we'd invite you to go look at that if you're interested in the chemistry. If you just want to know the basic facts, that's what we're going to go over today. Number one, make sure that you store your food in a cool environment, the coolest that you can get. If that temperature is above room temperature by 18 degrees, you've lost half of your shelf life. If you can reduce it 18 degrees below normal room temperature, you've doubled that. So you can see that temperature makes a huge difference. The second item is we want to protect it from moisture because moisture catalyzes rancidification. A little tiny drop of moisture is an ocean to a microorganism. So we want to package only low moisture foods, but we also want to make sure that we keep them dry, that the packaging keeps them dry, and that while we are packaging them, we don't introduce any moisture. Number three is protecting from light. Light promotes rancidity. And so make sure that you keep that in a dark environment. However you need to do that, if you have a dark storage room, Wonderful. If it can be in a light tight container, like a number 10 can or a Mylar bag, great. If you have to put it in a box or somehow keep that from light, this makes a big difference in how long that food will last. Number four is to not expose the food to oxygen. Oxygen oxidizes the food. It reduces the quality and the taste, which means that like in these bags, we have an oxygen absorber, which removes the oxygen from the air. You could also vacuum seal it. Um, if you have things that come prepackaged like this, usually the oxygen has already been removed. So once you open it, you've exposed it to oxygen. So a lot of times I will leave it in the original container and just store it just like this. Number five, you wanna make sure that when you are packaging your food storage, that you do it under sanitary conditions. And this is the reason why, because one tiny bit of rancid fat will rancify the whole thing. It catalyzes and it makes it happen really fast. So when I'm packaging things, I always, we usually actually do it on this counter over there, but I clean the area really well. Um, we wash our hands, we can wear gloves, um, and we don't mix old with new. We always only use new food storage when we're packaging it. Number six, avoid contact with metals, especially iron, copper, and nickel. These, according to Joseph Bell, create problems. Stainless steel is fine, but avoid contact with those other metals, iron, copper, and nickel. All right, and then number seven is to use quality packaging. You've got to protect it. We talked about from light, from moisture, from oxygen. So the ideal thing is a number 10 can, but we can't always do that. And we don't always buy ours um, prepackaged. So you want to make sure that if you're using Mylar, Mylar is a good, a good option, but you've got to make sure that it's quality Mylar that doesn't have any pinholes in it. Glass jars are one of my favorites, but they won't protect from light. So you've, like we talked about, you've got to protect this jar from light, but quality packaging, it really makes a difference if you just invest up front in some quality packaging and then it'll pay over the long run. There is a summary of our seven secrets for making sure that your food storage lasts a long time, that you avoid rancidity, and that you have good quality food when you need to use that. Now for the question of the day, have you ever had an issue with food going rancid in storage? Tell us your story and thanks for being part of the solution.